Hello everyone, in this video of QBasic, we are going to explore QBasic interface. Today, we will take a tour of the QBasic Integrated Development Environment or ID. So let's get started. When you open QBasic ID, you will be greeted with this interface. At the top, you will find the title bar, this white area. Directly below is the menu area. This is where you will discover various options such as file, edit, view, search, run, debug, option, help. If you click on any one of these menu items, you will reveal or drop down with the sub menu. Now let's shift our attention to the spacious blue area. This is where the magic happens. It's your code area where you write your actual code. You can also call this area a code area. Beneath the code area, you will see a status area where you will receive important messages about syntax error. And finally, at the very bottom, we have the status bar. This one is the status bar. It provides valuable information indicating the current line and column. This one is for column and this one is for line. Pressing enter, my column is being changed and you can see it's 2 now. If I'll press enter, it will become 3 because it's the third column. And if I'll press, press space, here the line number is being changed. It's now 18, now 19, 20. So uh, this status bar is used to show the column and line of the cursor. That's the basic layout of the QBasic ID. Now, Let's explore the sub menu of a file menu. So you can either click on the file menu or simply you can press Alt plus F to access the file menu. You'll get so many sub menus. The first one is new program. First you'll encounter new program. Selecting this option new program will allow you to create a new program from scratch. Second option is open program. This option is used to open already created program. So let's click the open program. Now I have already created one program som.bash so I want to open this program select that program click ok my program that I have saved earlier is displayed over here since I am using a QB45 version of QBasic in a DOS box I only have this much options if you are using earlier version of QBasic then you will get options of save and save as both save option allow you to save your program in a secondary memory like hard disk Whereas save as option allow you to save your already saved program in another location with different name. The last sub menu is exit. If you select this exit sub menu then it will allow you to exit from a QBasic. Now let's see the sub menu of view menu. These subs are used when we are writing a program in a module. Now if you want to execute your program then just go to run, select start or you can press shift plus F5 or if you are using an older version then you can press F5 button. My output is displayed in this black screen. Now if I want to go back to my program then I have to press any button from my keyboard. You can also change the background color and text color of this QBasic. For that you have to go to the option menu, select display and now this foreground means the text color and this background means the background color of the QBasic. So you can select any color you like. Now I'm choosing text color to be black and the background to be red. And now if I'll press OK, then change will appear here. That's all for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Next video, we are going to write our first QBasic program. Join our Telegram channel, Discord community. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more content and updates. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.